produce salesman John Spraja loved his high school job so much that he made it his career. His old school Italian spot has been around for a long, long time. It's where the locals go to enjoy some great home cooked Italian meals. In the Parkside neighborhood of San Francisco, step into Goldmere Italian Restaurant. Got any two ribeyes? Goldman Restaurant was started by my father, Giuseppe De Grande, in 1969. It was originally a jazz club on Fillmore Street. My father, Giuseppe, brought my brother and I both to the Goldmere at a young age, teaching us the family business. My name is Roberto De Grande. I'm Domenico De Grande, and we're at the Goldmere Restaurant. We've worked here since we were about 15 years old, learning all the family recipes. These are both your piccata, correct? My brother and I, we've been working so long together that we know each other's moves. Growing up in the kitchen with my dad, my dad always had the whip right nearby, so if we ever made a mistake, bam, we both get lashed. Fire two bill picadas. That's what taught us to be good cooks. Best thing about it is my dad once told me, I'll give you guys a ladder. It's your job to climb it. We source all our food. We bring in fresh fish, fresh veal. My mother and father, both from uh, Sicily, both from a fishing town, so they grew up on fresh seafood. If you come to the restaurant and walk down the hall towards the bathrooms, you'll find Goldie, which is a painting that is done from the back. Now Goldie is holding a gold mirror and she is looking at her reflection. Time, effort, hard work, sweat, it pays off. What I love about our customers is that they're family. Walking through these doors, it's like walking into our house. Bon appetit. Now John, how often do you go to your restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Now that you have blown my cover, because my <laughs> wife wonders why I don't eat dinner at home. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. You're welcome. I go at least three to four times a week. You don't. I love it. I mean, if you're eating there that much, there must be a multitude of dishes. There is. I usually do an appetizer with calamari. They just do it in a little olive oil and garlic, and it's just tender and it's crispy, oh, delicious. And then the Caesar salad, I mean, it's enough for two people. The dressing, it's not too heavy. Sometimes I go over the top and do a Caesar salad with a piece of salmon and it, they do it just right. Remember, this restaurant's been here since 1969. That's right, owned by the same family since same, 1969. The, the De Grande family. Yeah. That's Which right. is incredible because Dom and Roberto in the kitchen, yeah. they're in there cooking where the father sits at the bar, has a cup of coffee. So this place has history. It has so much history. So and much and what I love history. about it is there's not many old fashioned Italian restaurants in the so city anymore. Sweet. And this is, it's like walking back in time, isn't it? When you get into it. It is. That place. I thought the decor was a little. Um, it reminded me of medieval times. I mean, yeah, I guess walking back, you know, yeah, what, yeah a thousand right. years. But I mean, I didn't expect that. But it was truly a busy place. You could tell there's tons of families there. So we had it. We had mm -hmm. the stuffed avocado with the, um, the Dungeness crab, and mm -hmm. you know, with the which uh, is one of their signature dishes. Yeah, which was it actually was really good. And the sauce it was you know, that was drenched over. It was like almost like a shrimp louis, except with mm -hmm. the avocado. Uh, it was yummy. piled high with crab. Piled high. You know, yeah, it went really fast. It was too small actually. One another one, huh? Yeah. Well, we, there was a few of us that had it, so we were like doing this. You know, we started with escargot, which I had never had before. And it was a new, interesting experience. I really liked it. It was it was buttery, it was garlicky. Right. So we went with a group of four. My husband and I went with another couple, and we pretty much ordered the entire menu. <laughs> um, but my favorite thing was actually the fettuccine alla romana, which was phenomenal. Probably the best fettuccine I've ever had. It was creamy, it was delicate, not too salty. It was rich without being overwhelming, which I really, really enjoyed. So you've got a couple of go-tos, I'm sure, when it comes to- I do to have the go-tos. The cannelloni is incredible with a red and white sauce. It's light, so you get two pieces on the plate and you want five pieces. You know what I mean? <laughs> so the lasagna is homemade. Sheets of noodles, homemade ricotta, with their homemade sauce, which they won't tell me what it is. Mm -hmm. When you put a fork in the lasagna, it's like butter. It just goes through softly. So I gotta go back for that. Oh, my lasagna is the butter. number one thing there in Kilwarni. <laughs> he had the uh, calamari steak that I thought it was, just, it was, it was bathed. It was like in a bath of the sauce that it was, I, I want to say it was a caper sauce, which is olive oil, butter, just rich, cooked perfectly. Kristen, what else did you have? From pasta, you moved on. I did. I had, I had the pachali sole and a good friend had the Chilean sea bass. 
I loved her sea bass. It was I fantastic. missed the sea bass. It was, I think it was the fish of the day. Oh, well, there right. you go. Yeah, so it, it was very good. Hers was delicious. My Petrali sole was not as good. Ah, sorry, John. Sure. He didn't make it. It's all right. Right. <laughs> It lacked a little bit of flavor. It didn't have much salt. Um, it seemed like a large plate of just fish with butter, mm -hmm. but it had a side dish of rice and vegetables, and the rice was amazing. <laughs> it was really fluffy and mm -hmm. very flavorful, so I really enjoyed that. Gabe, what did you have to drink? A martini. <laughs> <laughs> Gin or vodka? Gin. Of course. Yeah. Any restaurant that has a bar in it, I'm pretty happy with, <laughs> and um, that bar was like, it was happening. I mean, it was almost like a club, yeah. you know? and that's the vibe of the place, isn't it? I mean, you can tell people knew people there, you know? Yeah. So. Desserts. I go there. Desserts. Oh, tiramisu. Desserts. 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 Tiramisu, my favorite. That's why I've put on 30 pounds. <laughs> it's a tiramisu. <laughs> God. The cheesecake was heavenly. It was a crustless cheesecake. It was so smooth, not too sweet. The four of us were basically fighting over this cheesecake. It was amazing. And what about service? You had mentioned a little bit of the service. The service was, well, we were seated immediately and very attentive at first. He got us our, our wine, our drinks, and then he disappeared and he was gone for a good, I would say, uh, 10 minutes. So I had to get up and go look for him. But once I got him, he came back. Once and he you was dragged there. him back, yeah. he was your It was forever. a little rushed, but um, but the joint was pretty hopping. I mean, it, it was a Saturday night. Maybe a Saturday night's not the best night it's to go for someone, for, uh, for a, a new guy. Yeah, it was packed. Mm -hmm. All right, this is your spot. Give us a quick summary. Great restaurant, local neighborhood. Been there since 1969. I recommend it highly. All right, and Gabe? Solid, it was solid Italian food, uh, old school. Would I go back? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, Kristen. <laughs> uh, Gold Mare, a great neighborhood Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. Fun, friendly, good food. All right, if you would like to try Gold Mirror Italian Restaurant, it's located on Terravel Street at 18th Avenue in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-564-0401. It's open weekdays for lunch and every day for dinner. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $45. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by IRG as in Trent Surfaces, quieter marbles and rare exotics, over 10,000 slabs in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin and at marblecompany.com. Mattress systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. At Adeline and Ashby in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport, now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Sutter Health CPMC. 7,000 employees, nurses, and physicians caring for their communities every day. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. La Tour Angel Artisan Oils. French inspired and handcrafted in Northern California. La Tour Angel creates natural, healthy cooking oils that add new flavor to everyday dishes. Support for KQED comes from Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with six Bay Area locations.